Welcome back to another video on my channel. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well. As Jamal Balmadi has just two more games to look at players before picking his squad. And it looks like it's not going to be the expanded 28-man squad. It could well be just a 23-man squad, just like the old days, for this Africa Cup of Nations tournament. Which means places are up for grabs. Competition for places. Some big calls are going to be, ha uh, be made. Some big names are going to be left out of this squad. Who's going to be in? Who's going to be out? Well, it's getting close to, to decision time, really, for, for Jamal Balmadi. And I've got to say, one player I think has improved a lot, over the, particularly over the last 12 months, got a good move, playing in the Champions League, adding more to his game, you know, getting forward more, getting from box to box, adding goals to his game, but still winning possession, possession back, setting off attacks, is Ramiz Zaruki. Now, of course, Zaruki has made the big call to not play for Holland and play for Algeria. Of course, he went to the AFCON in 2021 in Cameroon and he had an injury going into that tournament. He didn't start the first game. He wasn't fully fit the rest for the rest of the tournament. Remember, he didn't have Benassa next to him for a lot of those games as well. And then, of course, the big debacle with the Cameroon games. But remember, if, if Algeria hold on for 10 seconds and, and defend that set piece, everyone's calling the likes of Zaruki a hero and ultimately he'd be playing at a FIFA World Cup for sure. But... I've got to say, I feel a lot more confident with Zaruki in the Algeria midfield. I thought the last international break, in fact, the last two, I actually think, and I don't know why Zaruki seems to split opinion all the time, and we come in here quite a lot and bash players and, and slate them and, you know, slag them off. I think Zaruki has been one of the most improved Algerian players within the past 12 months. From where he was, and he was being compared to the likes of Gudiora in that midfield and, and legends like that and not really up to it. You can see he's developed his game. Of course, didn't even score, didn't he, in the Cape Verde game. Scored in the Champions League for Feyenoord recently against Lazio. And even for the third goal, he's the one that won the ball back and set off the attack to make it 3-0. I think this is a player that has fought for his place. He's had to deal with the likes of Hussein Mawar coming into the, into the squad and, and Abdelli and all these players like that. He's kept his place. Belmadi definitely trusts him more than Badawi. 100% trusts him more than Badawi. 100% trusts him more than Abdelli. 100% trust him more than, than Kadri. He might even have an experienced Sofian Faguli in there as well. He's going to learn so much just from playing and training with Soso. -so. so I think Zaruki has, if he's fit of course, and with the Banassa 50-50 injury, this could be a big part of the, of, the, of the pitch for Algeria. I think Zaruki has fought his way into the Algeria squad. And I think he's been very, very impressive. And he may well soon be one of the first names on the team sheet for Algeria. Whether or not Yassine Adli jumps in from nowhere remains to be seen. That could completely change the equation. But one way or another, with the Benassar injury and the question mark over Adli, I think Zaruki is going to be a key player. And I think he will be going to this AFCON. And who knows where he could be even going with Feyenoord in the UEFA Champions League. And I've been saying this a few times now. If Zaruki, and this is the biggest compliment you can give him, and I think it's true, I'm being dead serious. If Zaruki picked Holland, he would be starting right now for Holland. He'd be in midfield next to Frankie De Jong. It would be De Jong and Zaruki. Apart from De Jong, name me another centre mid from, from Holland. Name me one. You can't. Because the guys they're playing are bang average. They're playing bang average guys from the Dutch league in their team. From the Eredivisie. Like AZ. The PSV. This guy's at Feyenoord and in the midfield at a Dutch club. In the Eredivisie. In the Champions League. If Zaruki was playing for Holland, he would be starting for Holland. And that is the biggest credit to Algeria right now. Look at the players we're getting. We're getting Guiri. We're getting Awar, who would certainly be starting. Some of the French midfielders France are playing now. For sure, Awar is far better. I mean, some of the rubbish. I mean, Taram from, from Nice, probably only playing because of his dad. Um, just really low par choices. So I think now you've got Awar and Zaruki, a midfielder that would play for France and a midfielder that would play for Holland. And that just shows the game is changing. So I'm going to give Zaruki a lot of credit. And I think he's been really, really good. Let me know, of course, as ever, in the comments down below what you think of Ramiz Zaruki. Um, but I have to say, one player that has been disappointing is Saeed Benrahma. And once again, you are listening to one of the biggest fanboys of Saeed Benrahma. Met him multiple times, plays for my club, so I probably watch him closer than most people. And I've been a big, big supporter of him. And when he's had big criticism, I've backed him. But you have to say at this moment in time, it's not going well. He's a player that if he's not careful, he's not going to go to the tournament. And Belmadi has shown in previous squads over in the past 12 to 18 months, 
He's not afraid to leave Saeed Ben Rahma not out of a of a team sheet, out of a squad altogether. The last Afcon, he was only starting the last game, and then Belmadi humiliated him against Ivory Coast when he pulled him off at half time in the World Cup games against Cameroon. Ben Rama wasn't even named in the squad. He literally came for the second leg because Ben Sabani was suspended, which was still a bit odd, and he didn't even get on the pitch still. Clearly, the manager doesn't trust him. Then the other day, we see he wins a penalty in uh, in Constantine, and Slimani takes it off him, and he's fuming that he doesn't get to take the pen. He's like, I'm taking pen to West Ham, but not to Algeria. What's going on here? It's not the same aura. Then he gets taken off against Egypt, and then Belmadi's pulling him back. And what's going on here? And all this stuff that should be in the locker room, coming out of the locker room. I will be genuinely shocked if Ben Rama plays for Algeria again, particularly with how stubborn Belmadi is. Took him a year to bring Delors back into the fold and he made him apologise. I don't know what's what's going on. And I just think he's buzzing. He's got Maya Mills and he, he's, his head's got... He's lost his place in the West Ham team. You've got Paqueta playing on the left-hand side. The recent game in the... Europa League against Olympiacos. He was awful again. He got hauled. He's got to buckle up his ideas because at this rate, West Ham are going to be keeping Ben Rama for AFCON. And let's not forget, you've got players like Olise, Shirky, sniffing around. But I wouldn't be surprised wholeheartedly in the slightest if Balmadi left Ben Rama out and threw Bellaly back in there. Particularly with the way Bellaly has started. Not necessarily with his form for Muladia, but the fact that he trusts him, he knows what he's all about, and a player that he's used multiple times. But, you know, Bellaly coming in and his attitude is a completely different conversation. So, we're going to keep an eye on it. I think Amora can play on the left. I think Guiri can play on the left. You've got Bellaly. Doesn't look like Yassin Brahim is going to come back. Like I said, the stubbornness of Balmadi. There's too much bad blood there. He did go to the last tournament, of course, but uh, Brahimi and start games. People forget this. We've got Adam Nurse into the fold, Rashid Gazelle, Bilal Brahimi as well so we'll keep an eye on it so keep an eye on this these decisions because if it's a 23-man squad and i think it is whoever he picks there's going to be big names left out there's going to be big decisions to be made and we're making some big videos on those decisions on this channel so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as zaruki fights for his place but Rahma is hanging on to it by the skin of his teeth thanks for watching drop a like if you enjoyed it i'll see you on the next one